Hey guys, it's Liesl Jane. Today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day to lose weight. So I post a lot of recipes and all sorts of things on my blog, but I actually get a lot of friends and people that ask me, what do you actually eat in a day? <laughs> like, what do you actually eat? We see pictures on your Instagram and recipes on your blog, but what do you like actually eat in a day? And I also get questions about what I ate in a day when I was trying to lose weight because I've lost 40 pounds. Today in this video, I'm going to show you what I ate in a day um, when I was trying to lose weight and when I'm trying to lose weight, this is what I eat. Every day is different, but here's what I'm having today. For breakfast, I usually just have something really simple. This morning I'm having whole grain oatmeal, so I'll mix half a cup of whole rolled oats with one and a half to two cups of water. I'll bring that to a boil on the stove and then let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes. And then it's ready to eat. Whole rolled oats are a great source of healthy carbs. So now I'm going to add some healthy fats. I'm going to add one flat teaspoon of cold pressed coconut oil to my oatmeal. And then about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and some ground vanilla powder if I have it. These are both so good for you. They're full of antioxidants. And a tiny pinch of sea salt and one teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup. You can also use honey or xylitol. I don't have sweetener every day. Most of the time I just sweeten my oats with fresh fruit. And then I stir it all up. The coconut oil will melt into the oats. It makes it so creamy and delicious. Then I need some healthy protein. So I'm going to top my oats with one tablespoon of unsweetened almond butter that I've already measured out. You can also use another nut butter. And my favorite part is the fruit on top. This morning I have some fresh raspberries, but I'll just use whatever I have at home. It's usually blueberries or sometimes it's banana slices. And then a little splash of unsweetened almond milk. I don't always have this, but if I do, I love it. It's often nice to have some tea with breakfast. So this morning I'm having some organic green tea with mint leaves in it. I drink it black and unsweetened. It's really refreshing. And then I'll just take 10 to 20 minutes to sit down and enjoy my breakfast. If I'm not eating with Rob, then I might listen to an audiobook for a few minutes watch a series but I'll generally only do that on a weekend when I have more time. Then at about 10 or 11 I'll need a break and so I'll have another cup of tea. Today I'm having organic rooibos tea which is a South African tea. I love it, it makes me feel so at home and it's so good for you as well. I'll drink it black and unsweetened most of the time but it's also really delicious with a little bit of honey and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. I like to keep lunch as simple and easy as possible. I always keep leftovers in the fridge for lunches and every week I cook up a big pot of quinoa and a pot of organic brown rice to add to meals. Today I've measured out half a cup of cooked quinoa. Quinoa is a great source of healthy carbs and protein. And then I've chopped up about one cup of kale and I'm using grated beetroot and carrot in my salad. I either grate these at the start of the week and keep them in the fridge or I'll just buy them pre-grated. And then I'll just toss that up. What I've been loving lately is adding some dried cranberries to my salad. Then I often make roasted vegetables for dinner and I'll keep some leftovers in the fridge. Today I'm having about one cup of roasted vegetables with my lunch. They taste so good the next day. Now I've gotten lots of good carbs but I need some healthy fats and more protein. So avocado is a great source of healthy fats so I'm gonna have one third of an avocado sliced up and eight raw walnuts. <laughs> They're full of omega-3 fats and good protein as well. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of organic balsamic vinegar to my salad and then one teaspoon of cold pressed olive oil, another great source of healthy fats. So I'll drizzle those over my salad and a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice always brings out the flavor of the food, I love it. And then a pinch of sea salt and black pepper finish it off really nicely. And now it's time to eat. I like to take a break when I eat to really enjoy my food. I might look through a magazine, read a book, or listen to an audiobook while I eat my lunch, or if I'm feeling a little bit cheeky, then I might watch an episode of a series. And if I'm gonna be out the whole day, then I'll just prepare my lunch in the morning and pack it into a lunchbox to take with me. I 
I don't always have a snack if I'm trying to lose weight, but if I'm feeling really hungry that day or if I've been, you know, more active than usual, then I might have a snack at about 4 p.m. I'll generally keep my snacks simple with a piece of fruit and some raw nuts. Today I'm having one apple sliced up with one tablespoon of unsweetened peanut butter. And if I'm not having a snack, I might just have another cup of tea. <laughs> For dinner today, I've roasted some sweet potatoes in the oven with sea salt, black pepper, and macadamia nut oil. I've also grilled 100 grams of wild caught salmon for myself with sea salt, black pepper, and some fresh lemon juice. For myself, I'll serve the grilled salmon with one medium sweet potato and some lightly steamed vegetables. Today, I've got long stem broccoli and baby corn, but I'll often do some zucchinis as well. And then a little sprinkle of black pepper and sea salt and a squeeze of fresh lemon. Rob and I always eat together for dinner. We'll just sit back, relax after the day and enjoy our food. And Rob will generally eat double or triple the amount of food that I'm eating. Now I'm going to put the full recipes for everything that I ate today on the blog for you. So I'll put a link to that below this video. I'll usually eat 1,100 to 1,300 calories a day to lose weight and sometimes I'll eat up to 1,400 calories if I really need it or I've been you know, more active than usual. I have a petite frame though, but women with a taller frame will need to eat more to lose weight in a healthy way. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you found it helpful. If you would like another example of you know what to eat in a day if you're trying to lose weight I'm gonna put a link below this video to a three-day eating plan for losing weight for weight loss so I'm gonna put a link to that below this video um, it's free so you can just go download it on my blog if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like it and share it and subscribe to my channel for more videos okay I'll see you soon